you see any Igbo man comes out to do the protest. Because the reason why the Igbo people don't come out to protest against Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the great Jagaba, Ashwadi Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the great Jagaba, the president of Nigeria, they don't come out to protest. No any Igbo that comes out, that calls himself the real Igbo, that comes out to come and protest. So, Yoruba, we should stop complaining because we need to protest. We need to come out and protest. Igbo are disrespecting our institution. They disrespect our traditional ruler. They disrespect all our all our headers. And they can't take it in their own space. Therefore, we must not fold our hand. I just have to tell everybody this. This protest, your Igbo must go. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Well, welcome to this Facebook page and YouTube channel. Guys, should I come back again? I tell Nasi how things are going to play for Nigeria. I did to bring a common doorstep, make Nasi how the things are unfold. Without wasting much of our time. Guys, one that shall never end. Some of these Eurobars, though they plan coup on the Ebos, yes now. Because I did a video concerning the Eurobars and the Ebo that the e Eurobars said they want to protest against the Ebos in Lagos. But right now, come and see what is going on right now. Twitter where the X don't catch fire. They don't plan cool on the Igbos. Say man, see what they want to do, see what they want to do. Guys, and some Yorubans, they come my Igbos, come they attack me, they fight me. They call me different type of names. Say man, now me they cause the problem between Yorubans and Igbos. Like, this is a problem where don't they grant. When me, I never know where the problem they start itself. Even Atiku as to speak, Atiku relates inside this issue. Baba Ji, this is how Ludo drop or they move inside this matter. Say, he had no day. Wait till some of these Yorubas won't carry out. So, he had no day inside. You guys, let me play you guys. The voice note that came out all the way from X, known as Twitter, formerly. But right now, let me play you guys the discussion that some of these Yorubas are having. Let me call it Twinter because mostly Nigeria know it as Twinter. Because when I say is, some people will not, will not understand what I'm talking about. Twinter. Some Yorubans, they are not holding meeting on Twinter. Same different type of things against the Igbos. And I will play you guys a video again of this Yoruba guy who said, you know one thing about these Yoruba people and what the Yorubas are doing? That Bola Ahmed is their person. Yoruba don't need to talk to Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu. Since Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu is a Yoruba man, now he's not the select president. So, any Yorubas that talk to Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu, that person is not a Yoruba person. That's what this guy just said. I will play you guys this video. Just hear what he said in this video. Before then, watch how Yoruba, some of these Yorubas are planning coup on top of the Igbos. And they said, Igbo must leave Lagos. Like, it's crazy, bro. Watch this video. They will come back to put our own take on this issue. Please, do me a favor. Share the video. Oh, so, Yoruba, we should stop complaining because we need to protest. We need to come out and protest. Igbo are disrespecting our institution. They disrespect our traditional ruler. They disrespect all our, all our headers. And they can't take it in their own space. Therefore, we must not fold our hand. I just have to tell everybody this. This protest, your Igbo must go and the scrap of the uh, of a unitary system is a must and it's coming and it's going to be loud. It's going to whoever that want to die should it's in our space. This is the our heritage, this is the land our father fought for. And we will not allow anybody, no matter how many acres of land you buy, it is our land. And your land that your purchased land have expired time. Therefore, you cannot claim ownership. So, thank you, uh, uh, Madam Majoka. Uh, 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 sir, let me just quickly say this. I appreciate uh, you, sir, Baba Omega. But you know, uh, we need to be very careful so that we don't play in the ends, into the ends of the enemies. We are still within the context of Nigeria and asking for the expulsion of any ethnicities within our space it's uh, we can make statements like that that uh, we need to be very very careful of uh, the diplomatic uh consequences uh if, of how they are going to twist it 
you know we live in a place where people are naturally very very manipulative already so i support that um the end should come against the unitary system of government but uh, the issue of uh saying any ethnicities must be forced out of our state space cannot be uh we need to be very careful you can be accused of terrorism incitement or any other thing um okay guys let me just you know deliberate a little bit before i play you guys that video you heard what i said on this video on this voice notes the first man that spoke said Igbo must go there's no two ways about it Igbo must leave lagos even those properties Igbo have in Lagos does not belong to the Igbos, belongs to the Yoruba. Everything has an expiry date. You heard? So, what these people are trying to say is this. That everything that the Igbo have in Lagos, they must leave it there in Lagos and just go to their land. And this last guy that spoke, is trying to tell him, oh, bro, you need to be very careful, be conscious of what you are saying, because you cannot tell anybody. We are all Nigerians, in as much the Igbos need Biafra, but they haven't got their Biafra now. We are Nigerians. We are Nigerians. Nobody has right to tell anybody to leave. Like, you would tell me to go away from Edo State, or Lagos State or Abuja, you don't have that right. That is what the Yorubas are doing now. Telling the Igbos to leave Lagos State as if Lagos State belongs to them. History, if you read your history where Lagos State belongs to the Edos. The Benin holds Lagos State. The Yorubas, they are stranger in Lagos. They are not the owner of Lagos. But just because they dominated everywhere. They now believe that Lagos belongs to them. And you think you can chase the ego away? See, I understand one thing in this whole story. I know that these guys are jealous of the egos. Yes. Because if you look at what is going on now, even this protest that is, go that is going on, the egos never come out, you know, to protest or to do anything to discuss about this protest no they only keep moods they say they are not going to protest the only way they are going to support Tiftinibu is to say Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu must remain there that's the support they give to Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu but me and you know why they are doing it the board of us know why they are doing it but you see these people coming at planning coup on top of the Igbo bro according to article these people need to be arrested these people, they need to be arrested. These are the people burning down Igbo's people's shop. They will burn down their shop. They will demolish their houses. See, these are the some of these Yoruba evil people in Lagos states. Let me play you guys another video. Hear what this guy said concerning the Igbo. See, Igbo for more than six guesses. I understand. Say yes, eh? yeah. On a, they do business, but you guys just need to be careful and be wise. Watch well. Because these people, they don't love you guys. I'll tell you guys the plain truth. They don't love you guys. If I tell you how many messages I receive, see, on a daily basis, insults from these Eurobats, just because I discuss about the Igbos. Me, I start with the Igbos, though. I'm not telling a lie. Forget, I'm from Delta State, Robo, to be precise. But you see, I so, you know why I support the, the Igbos? Because these guys, they don't look for your trouble. They are doing their business peacefully. They go to see, they will go to their business, they will come back home. They don't look, they used to their things peacefully, but I don't know why these people, you know, look for this guy's trouble for real. Guys, take your time, watch this video, please. You know, you will see any evil man comes out to do the protest. Because the reason why the evil people don't come out to protest against Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The great Jagaba, Ashwa Dubala Ahmed Tinubu, the great Jagaba, the president of Nigeria, they don't come out to protest. No any Igbo that comes out, that calls himself the real Igbo, 
that comes out to come and protest against Bola Ahmed, Ashwadu, Jagaba. The president, no Igbo comes out to protest because they know that we voted, we Yorubas, we voted for Ashwadu Bola Ahmed Tinubu as a president. So why are you protesting against Ashwadu Bola Ahmed Tinubu? Is this something wrong with we eat Yorubas people? She can shewani. She can damn our Yorubani. Ibo Chade, Ibo Koko Chade, that's why protest against Ashwa Dubala Abel Tinubu. I want Yoruba food, I want that to share that way. Is this something wrong with us? She can shewani. Can you bola Ashwa Du Amen Tinubu, the great Jagaba, Kilo She. Show me the problem, Wani. I want to the problem around Wa. Because I, I, I do not see anything that is wrong that Ashwa Dubala Abel Tinubu is doing. You need to give Baba some time. Protest will not solve anything. There's nothing protest will solve. Let's try to understand ourselves. Let's try to know that Ashwa Dubala Ahmed Tunubu is our own father and he's our own uncle and he's our own fellow Yoruba brother. We need to calm down. Things will change. Things will get better. We voted Ashwa Dubala Ahmed Tunubu there as a president. So we need to understand it. We need to calm down and see what is happening. Protest will not stop anything. We need to calm down and know what is happening in this country. Ashwa Dubala Ahmed Tunubu needs to understand and know how. Need to sit and hear and see what is happening in the country. Things will be fine. We need to calm down. Protest will not stop. All this bomb, bomb, bomb. Looting someone's property. You people are not protesting now. You people are, you people are stealing. You people are stealing. You, you turn the protest to stealing. You breaking everywhere. Looting everything. Is that a protest? Is that a protest? Is that the protest? That's a fucking protest. Oh yeah, come out again today and come and protest. So you people have done yesterday. Oh, come out today again. Come and say you're protesting. Let me see you. You go collect. Guys, <laughs> me, I'm tired, bro. And you see the problem we have in Nigeria is these guys think that it's something about he's my tribe. He's from Yoruba. And he is the one sitting there. We don't need to protest against him. That's what these people thought. But the issue is, Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu is not doing what the people want. Hunger in the land, Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu has not done anything to fix this whole problem. And you see this kind of person will still come outside. Oh. The Igbos did not protest. Why is it that it is the Yorubas that are protesting? No. Let me break it down for you, bro. The Igbo did not protest. Let me tell you why the Igbo did not protest. Because the Igbos won this presidential election. If you don't know, no. And nobody voted for Bola Ahmed if Tinibu. Nobody voted for Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Bola Ahmed Tinibu stole the mandates. Bola Ahmed Tinibu stole the mandates. And you heard, according to what Bola Ahmed Tinibu said, he said he bought that seat. He didn't win it. He bought it. So, how did you guys vote for Bola Ahmed Tinibu? So, my brother, get sense. Say why they come outside and protest. They will come outside and protest because your jagaband, the person you called your brother, failed to do the right thing. Failed to feed the country. And that is why you see your Yoruba, some of your Yoruba people are planning cool on top of the Igbos. As if the Igbos are their problem. Igbo no be problem. When I get big problems, some of these Yorubas, you guys have massive problem and make one go solve a problem by ourselves. Yes, so make one leave the egos alone. That jealousy they make one and they attack the egos. Jealousy they make one and they attack the egos. Leave the egos alone. Now them they the marginalized spars. Now they no go talk. Now them one and they attack. They no protest now. They on the scene and they cause the protest. That is hatred and wickedness. Allow the egos to be for Christ's sake, guys. I will end this video, please. If I see me, I continue to the talk. You see those people, eh? They need to arrest those people with the plan coup on top of the egos. Those ones where they say egos, egos must go for inside Nigeria again. 
Nigeria, Nigeria. You see the kind of racism way did that country, Nigeria. It's massive and it's big. Guys, I will hand this video a copy paste. Please help me to share this video. Free the ego, let the ego, let them have hair for body. The moon and let the ego have hair. Now they romp, now they disturb them. Make them get hair for body and beg. I will hand this video a copy paste. Please help me to share this video as you do so. God bless you. See you guys on my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye bye.